So it has finally come for us guys. We have the announcement of the release date of Halo Infinite. It has been confirmed. There's also a Master Chief controller as well as a 20th anniversary Xbox controller and a massive Halo Infinite event. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So it feels great to actually talk about some positive news when it comes to Halo Infinite now. As Gamecom Day 1 finally came out for us guys with some big Infinite news and new trailer for Halo as well as great announcements as such as the release date. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So first let's start off with just like the facts right here and then we'll go into all the details about those facts in the second half of this video. So the first thing I want to talk about guys is the release date of Halo Infinite has officially been announced. It finally happened guys. December 8th, 2021 is when you'll see the release of Halo Infinite, which is crazy, crazy hyped guys. I was totally caught me off guard when it came to this release day. I was expecting sometime within like November 15th to like the 19th as it would be before Black Friday, which is the highest selling day within the US. Halo's never released past Black Friday. But I think with Halo Infinite, it's a different kind of game. You know, it's not all about the release launch day of Halo Infinite when it comes to getting all the sales that you need for the game, because it's going to have continuous revenue coming in for it. Previously, it was all about the release date where you need to make sure you had the game out before Black Friday, which is like, like I said earlier, the highest selling day within the US. But now things are a little different. Gaming releases have changed. The way people play games, the way that people download games or interact or receive games is completely different now. So. Maybe not having such an important release date of like before Black Friday isn't that necessary. So December 8th is going to be the release date of Halo Infinite. Set your calendars, mark your days off of work and everything in between because we're going to go hard in the pain when it comes to Halo content on December 8th. Though it's not all about the release date for Halo Infinite because it looks like on the anniversary we're going to get some cool stuff as well. As it was showcased within Gamescom, we're going to get a 20th anniversary Xbox console right here. As you can see, this looks super freaking cool. This is definitely the best looking Xbox. To me, like the design of it doesn't like scream Halo per se, but it just looks freaking cool. But if you're a Halo fan, you can kind of recognize some of the same shapes and things like that. Be available for pre-order now, but you can get it on November 15th. Hopefully, uh, previously Phil Spencer did say that they weren't really looking to make a whole lot of kind of special edition consoles because of the chip shortage and how difficult it is to just make these consoles right now to get them in people's hands. That seems to be the biggest issue, not people buying the consoles, it's just giving enough consoles to people who want to buy them. So this completely got caught me off guard. This is definitely something I was not expecting at all when it came to just Xbox in general, much less Halo, but I guess Halo gets a little bit of special treatment as well. But guys, there's another thing coming on November 15th as well. And that is the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller in this theme of our boy, the Master Chief. This looks absolutely incredible. This is also running for about $200 right now, which will be available on November 15th. Uh, definitely a high price tag for a controller. It makes me kind of go, eh, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. But I mean, it does look pretty freaking awesome. And it's knowing about all the extra kind of buttons that we need to press and stuff like that when it came to playing the tech preview that we recently did for Halo Infinite, then maybe those panels might come in handy as well, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see when it comes to all that extra stuff. Another really cool thing that we got as well is a new trailer for Halo. This looks to be taking place in future London, which seems to be taken over by the Brutes in some capacity. Obviously this happens before the events of Halo Infinite. So it's kind of interesting to see what kind of timeline this is. Is this like the like Halo 2 era invasion of earth that we saw now this is what it looks like from london time this is what it looks like in london possibly basically you're following uh cadet laura if i remember correctly that's her name uh basically kind of give her a little, her a little backstory because she's gonna be leading you throughout the multiplayer this is kind of like a trailer teaser kind of thing for the first season of halo infinite which can be tied into Halo Reach in some capacity as well. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how that story element works on top of that, because your sparring as your own personal sparring is going to be playing a much bigger role within like the storytelling as a whole when it comes to Halo Infinite. It's not going to be all about Master Chief. It's going to be Master Chief and your Spartan as well. And so it's going to be really cool to kind of get some more kind of cool cutscenes like this to kind of introduce new seasons and things like that. So I think we're going to be seeing content like this 
far more often, pretty much every three months, which has been the announced cadence of new seasons when it comes to Halo Infinite. So I expect to see a lot more of this kind of lore-based kind of cinematics that we you know love to see within Halo. And now you get a chance to see it again by well every new season, which is incredible, super exciting to know about, and obviously cannot wait to play Halo Infinite December 8th, guys. It's gonna be insane. But that's not all the Halo news that we have, guys. We also have a big Halo Infinite event happening. What kind of event we're looking at here? Well, it's looking to be an HCS event in some capacity right here. Back in April, if you guys remember, I definitely reported it on this channel when we first talked about it, where Tasha first tweeted out saying, recently I locked in a date and venue for the first Halo Infinite HCS event, assuming it's safe to attend in person, and it's in 2021, operated by none other than Esports Engine, the original people who made MLG have made eSports or part of eSports engine now. So that's definitely good to know they're in the right kind of hands when it comes to doing this stuff. Details later this summer. Well, it's the summertime. This was also posted back in April. So it's the summertime now. So what's the new information we're talking about? Well, on the 23rd of August, Tashi tweets out this kind of somewhat cryptic kind of thing, talking about saying it's official with hashtag HCS. So obviously I'm sure referring to that April tweet. And so there it is, the info from Tashi about from today as well saying, see you there. And to get out in front of the questions, info on the first HCS event that I talked about months ago will be dropping in September. So that's when we'll finally get a chance to get some HCS event related things. So this could be happening before the release of Halo Infinite. I could totally see that happening because they did say it's gonna happen in 2021. And I don't really expect to see a whole lot of people traveling around December as most likely they're probably saving up that travel time for family around like the Christmas and holiday season around then. So I totally would expect to see this event happening before the release date of Halo Infinite. If it does, and if it's in with the, in the US, and somewhat safe to go to, I'm gonna try my best to go to that as well because I miss going to Halo events so much. You know, I went to South by Southwest, I went to Dreamhack Anaheim, and I've been at the 2018 World Finals for Halo 5. Tons of fun, great chance to hang out with the community, and I really miss that. I'm gonna try to go to that again. I'm sure you all can hear it within my voice right now, but I'm just way too excited about this. It's finally happening, you know, it's been such a rocky road, especially the last few days with Halo Infinite, about the lack of co-op and Forge at launch being announced. But like I said earlier, guys, like this is only just the beginning of Halo Infinite. Like this is gonna be such a unique experience when it comes to a release of a Halo game. They might seem a little bare bones to some people out there, but I think what's gonna happen is that we're gonna see this game bloom into something super special and really awesome. And of course, if anything updates wise or news wise or information happens within Halo Infinite, you guarantee I'm gonna let you guys know on this channel. But trust me, as more information drops about the upcoming flight that we'll have for Halo Infinite, more information about what's gonna be in the game, as it seems like the marketing is probably gonna start ramping up pretty soon. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently. Check out the videos on the screen. And here I got a place to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.